Hello dear students, welcome to Top Scholars. We all know that metals and non-metals both are reactive, right? But how do these metals and non-metals react? That is what we will discuss in today's lecture. How do metals and non-metals react? So friends, let's start with the electronic configuration of noble gases. Now friends, what are noble gases? Yes, noble gases have completely filled valence shell, which means that Noble gases do not react easily and so noble gases are said to be stable. Let's take an example to understand this, right? So, we have helium which is a noble gas, right? What is the atomic number of helium? 2 exactly. So, its electronic configuration is also 2. So, as you can look over here, helium has 2 electrons in its first orbit that is its outermost orbit, right? Now, since helium has 2 electrons in its outermost shell, Helium is said to be stable with the duplet state. What is duplet state, friends? Yes, duplet state means that an atom has two electrons in its outermost shell. What about neon, friends? Yes, what is the atomic number of neon? 10 exactly. So, its electronic configuration is 2, 8. Now, as you can look over here, neon has 8 electrons in its outermost shell. Now, since neon has 8 electrons in its outermost shell, neon is said to be stable with the octet state. Octet means 8 electrons in the outermost shell. But what about argon? Yes, the electronic configuration of argon is 2, 8, 8. How many electrons are there in the outermost shell of argon? 8 electrons, exactly. Since argon has 8 electrons in its outermost shell, it means that argon is stable with the octet state. But friends, what about metals? What are metals? Yes, metals are the elements which lose electrons in order to attain stable electronic configuration of the nearest inert gas. So, what do metals do in order to become stable? They lose electrons. On, on losing electrons, they attain the stable electronic configuration of the nearest inert gas. So, when metals lose electrons, they form positively charged ions, that is cations, right? So, metals, in order to become stable, what do they do is they lose electrons. And on losing electrons, they form positively charged ions, that is cations. Let's take an example to understand this. Now, if I talk about sodium, friends, the atomic number of sodium is 11 exactly. So, its electronic configuration is 2, 8, 1, right? So, how many electrons are present in the outermost shell of sodium? One electron. So, in order to become stable, what is sodium going to do? Yes, sodium gives away. It loses this one valence electron. On losing this one valence electron, sodium forms positively charged sodium cation. Now, friends, tell me how many electrons are present in the outermost shell? 8 electrons, exactly. Which means that sodium on losing one electron becomes stable with the octet state. Excellent. Now, friends, tell me what about magnesium? What does magnesium do to become stable? The atomic number of magnesium is 12, exactly. So, its electronic configuration is 2, 8, 2. Which means that magnesium has 2 electrons in its outermost shell. So, what is magnesium going to do? Yes, magnesium gives away. It loses these two valence electrons and forms magnesium 2 plus cation. Now, friends, tell me how many electrons are present in the outermost shell? Yes, 8 electrons. Which means that magnesium becomes stable by losing two electrons, right? So, magnesium on losing these two electrons becomes stable with the octet state. But what about aluminium, friends? The electronic configuration of aluminium is 2, 8, 3, which means that aluminium has 3 electrons in its outermost shell. So, what is aluminium going to do in order to become stable? Yes, aluminium loses these 3 electrons. It gives away these 3 electrons. So, when aluminium gives away these 3 electrons, it forms aluminium 3 plus cation. Now, friends, tell me how many electrons can you see in the outermost shell? 8 electrons, very good. Which means that aluminium loses 3 valence electrons and becomes stable with the octet state. Excellent. But friends, what about non-metals? What are non-metals? Yes, 
non metals are the elements which gain electrons which accept electrons in order to attain the stable electronic configuration of the nearest inert gas that means in order to become stable what do these non metals do they gain electrons accept electrons in order to attain the stable electronic configuration of the nearest inert gas now when non metals accept electrons that is they gain electrons they form negatively charged ions that is anions right so what did we understand here yes non metals in order to become stable what do they do is they gain electrons and on gaining electrons they form negatively charged ions that are called as anions let's understand this with the help of an example now if i talk about nitrogen friends the atomic number of nitrogen is yes 7 so its electronic configuration is 2 comma 5 right so how many electrons are present in the outermost shell of nitrogen five electrons exactly now for becoming stable nitrogen needs eight electrons in its outermost shell right that means nitrogen requires three more electrons right so in order to become stable what is this nitrogen going to do yes nitrogen accepts three electrons it gains three electrons so nitrogen on gaining three electrons forms n3 minus an ion now friends tell me how many electrons can you see in the outermost shell of nitrogen yes eight electrons which means that nitrogen gains three electron and becomes stable with the octet state but what about oxygen tell me friends oxygen has how many electrons in its outermost shell six electrons right So in order to become stable what is oxygen going to do yes it gains two electrons as you can see when oxygen gains two electrons it forms negatively charged o2 minus nin right so oxygen atom in order to become stable it gains two electrons which means that on gaining these two electrons oxygen becomes stable with the octet state excellent but what about chlorine friends The atomic number of chlorine is seventeen, right? Okay. So its electronic configuration is two comma eight comma seven. So how many electrons are present in the outermost shell of chlorine? Seven electrons. Very good. So in order to become stable, what is chlorine going to do? Excellent. Chlorine is going to accept one electron. It is going to gain one electron. Now, as you can see over here, chlorine on accepting one electron forms Cl minus an ion, right? Now tell me friends how many electrons are present in the outermost shell eight electrons very good which means that chlorine gains one electron and becomes stable with the octet state excellent but friends the question is how do these metals and non metals react to learn more about this topic download top scholars app